Portuguese Ride, Fetterman Massacre, Fort Phil Kearney, Wyoming, 1866. They came running up to Carrington, saying Fetterman had gone beyond the ridge. He was told to shun the decoy runner if he wanted his whole company to live. But his Civil War successes and his bragging to his troops had made him blind. He sent them over lots still rich with no one to protect them from behind. Well, he didn't see the Cheyenne and he didn't see the Sioux. He was stunned by the Arapaho and Swift Oglala too. Over 90 soldiers slaughtered on that cold December day. One to blame. Portuguese. He came over from the Azores to seek gold in the Bighorn Mountain Range. When he got to Fort Phil Kearney, they offered him a job and so he stayed. Had he not been on a water run, he would have been with Fetterman that day. So he and Daniel Dixon stepped forth to take a message right away. He had a Spencer repeating rifle and a half a sack of oats. A bag stuffed full of hardtack and a thick buffalo coat. And a note from Colonel Carrington, we need more men to fight. Godspeed men ride. They first stopped at Fort Reno and changed horses at some ranches on the way. And they only rode at night time and hid from sight and rested in the day. That winter moon was closer than anyone alive had ever known. The moonbeams glistened on the snow and guided weary riders as they rode. Across the Powder River on past the Pumpkin Buttes, follow in the trails that the old time trappers used, till they got to Bridger's Crossing where they found the North Platte solid as a rock. He couldn't feel his fingers and his toes seemed nearly frozen to the bone. Daniel Dixon called the Portuguese, I don't know how much farther I can go. They had been joined by Robert Bain to guide them all along the Oregon Trail. To take them to a telegraph and be ready to relieve them should they fail. As they came to Horseshoe Station, they faced a wintry dawn. They sent a wire to Washington and one to Omaha. And the other riders chose to stay, but Portuguese resaddled and rode on. At Fort Laramie, it was Christmas time. They had old Bedlam lit up like a shrine. The punch was extra tasty, and the ladies had the ballroom looking fine. But the dancing stopped abruptly when at the front door Portuguese appeared. His face showed signs of frostbite and icicles were dripping from his beard. He told them of the massacre, how men on both sides died, about the brutal weather and the details of his ride. And he fell onto the ballroom floor and straight into the book of history. Well, he fell onto the ballroom floor and straight into the book of history. Portuguese, Portuguese. Portuguese Phillips approaches Old Bedlam in Fort Laramie. Painting by Dave Polly, Osage, Wyoming.